GSP hits out at the UFC for letting Michael Bisping fight Gastelum. Getty Last month saw Bisping lose the middleweight title to the Canadian in the main event of UFC 217, which took place at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Bisping's reign at the summit of the 185 pounds division came to an end courtesy of a third round rear naked choke, which landed Street Pierre his fourth UFC title. Less than three weeks after being choked out by Street Pierre, Bisping was back in action in the main event of UFC Fight Night 122 in Shanghai, stepping in as a late replacement for Anderson Silva. His quick turnaround, which ended up saving the card, didn't go to plan as he suffered a brutal first round co-loss Ultimate Fighter Season 17 winner Kelvin Gastelum. Immediately after the bout, many fans and fighters questioned the UFC's decision to allow the count to return to the octagon so soon after his grueling contest with Street Pierre, which saw him get badly hurt before being submitted. Street Pierre respects Bisping for getting back in the cage so after losing the title but questions the UFC's decision to let him do so. Medically, that was not the right thing to do, Street Pierre told TSN. I believe for the UFC, that was not good to let an athlete fight after getting concussed in a fight for the world title and then getting choked out George's Street Pierre on Michael Bisping's quick turnaround. However, if he would have succeeded, you know. He took a big risk and me, I can accept that because he took a big risk, if he would have succeeded he would have been like a hero. It's like, oh my god, he just lose the title and then he come back with no preparation, boom, wins a fight. I think he tried to do something that was very, very risky. But at the same time if he would have achieved it, it would have been a big reward for him. So I can respect that. For him, I can respect the idea that he had, the goal that he had doing it. However, I believe for the UFC, that was not good to let an athlete fight after getting concussed in a fight for the world title and then getting choked out. I don't think it was medically a good thing for the UFC. But for Michael, as a fighter, I understand his point of view. He wanted to turn around the table and he wanted to do something that was special and I can understand that because coming back after four years myself, it was a lot of risk. And I wanted to do something special and I succeeded, I'm happy I did it. Unfortunately for Michael, it failed. But I can respect that from a man.